hey guys welcome back to my channel okay so today i thought i'd do just a little bit of recycling um i've got some leftover bits from cutting off some journal pages so they're just like two inch strips i've got a couple of bits of that i've dug out of my um digital papers that i just need to use up and i've got some cardboard so this is just packaging and i'm sure we've all gathered some packaging in the last few weeks um, and I'm going to make just these like little um, notebooks really but with a little I was going to make it into sort of like a tag um, but it's sort of like just a sort of like rectangle um, and it's just using up little bits I thought it was a nice little um, idea to pop into a journal so I've just made two so far this was my first one I did and um, this one I actually sewed around this one I haven't um, and then you've just got the little clasp here um, which just opens up like that and then you've got your little bits to write on which I thought were really cute and it just adds or well, it just uses up the little bits of um, digital papers that you've got lying around um, and if you've got any old card and some little cut off bits of, of paper so what I've done what I did to start with I've taken just a piece of old cereal box um, food boxes or whatever you've got um, and you can make them any size so it doesn't really matter and what I'm going to do I'm going to do them because these are two inches I'm going to and I want to put the, these in, in as the um, little pages I'm going to make them two inches wide so let's just straighten this up so I've got a straight edge either side so I want two inches and then what shall I do it? Mm, maybe three and a half. And then I'll do this one, which will be the same. Two inches and I will do that. Let's have a look. Because the top one is smaller obviously than the bit the underneath one, so I say about there, what would that be? Well, maybe then if I say three. So this one was three and a half, and then this one is three. As long as you've got room here to pop the little um, closure on there. So that should be enough there on there. So that's perfect. So again, do them whatever size you, you like. Um, Let's pop these in, you never know, pop those away. Um, I'm going to cover this side, okay, with some paper. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So what shall we have? That's off my freebie one. Let's put this one on, I think, because I like that. No, actually, let's have a plain one underneath. So the bigger one is the underneath one, so we want a sort of plain plain piece of paper because you won't really see that so what I'm going to do I'm just going to cover it with some glue this is just really quick and easy um, so they're lovely so if you gather up all your food packaging um, all your empty cartons and cereal boxes that you're not going to use you can you can make lots of them so let's just cut this out like this Now, you can sew them, it's entirely up to you. If you don't have a sewing machine, they can be done without. So that's the bottom piece. And then that just sits on the top. So we could that, we could have that on the top, couldn't we? So let's add a little bit of glue to this. Now I will just run the, um, sew machine around the edges of these which was the top here Let's stick that on Oops. make sure it's all level there we go perfect so then that just sits on top easy peasy 
Right, I'm going to quickly just, um, right, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to sew around three edges and leave the top edge because I'm going to sew that in a minute to sew the papers on. Okay, so I'm just going to sew around three edges. Okay, so there we go. Let's just trim this little edge, these little bits of cotton off. Like that. Okay. Now, I want to just do a little score line down here because this just has got like a little bend in it here. So you just want to score that um, instead of bending it because it's a lot easier. I'm just going to take my ruler and my little score tool here, just a little bit, just so it can bend. Let's just down here like that. So you can see there, and then just bend it up slightly just so we know where it is. Okay, so that's that bit done, and then we've got these little two inch wide strips of paper just slightly bigger actually but never mind so what was this what did I say that was three inches so we need to do these three inches like this so you can do it with all your, your little scrap pieces of paper which is brilliant I'm just going to do six pages. You don't want it too thick. I am going to sew through it. Um, but I was thinking if you're not going to sew through it, what you could do could actually pop two little holes in the top here. You could get your, your hole punch and punch in two little holes and pop some ribbon in there and tie a little bow um, if you're not sewing or if you don't have a sewing machine. Um, so let's just these together. Now what I'm going to do, like that, is that the right length? Just. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just glue them just a little bit at the top, like that, and put one on top of the other, because it's so much easier than to sew. And then you don't have to hold it all straight. You only need a tiny little bit just to glue it on, just to hold the pages in place, like that. There we go, I'm getting glue everywhere. perfect and then what we want to do we want to just stick that to the back piece like this another tiny little bit of glue and just stick that on there and then we'll have another little bit of glue just a bit of glue stick and we stick that piece on top like that okay and then what I'm going to do I don't want it too thick because obviously the needle won't go through um, through here but you can see here that's where the line is and um, where you bend it up and you just want to just sew above it in between the top and that line so I'm going to quickly do that so there we are I've just sewn through across there now. so let's let me get my little scissors it's easier to cut the little threads off we are so I'm going to just go over it with a little bit of ink some threads everywhere oopsie daisy just to cover up that white cotton just like that there we are so that looks nice doesn't it so that little bit that we've scored there that just lifts up now so when you can just sort of like lifts up like a little pad of paper so that's perfect I've got your little, little um, pad there so 
now we need to pop a little bit of a little brad in there now i've got my brads here somewhere there we go little packet of mixed ones here and what i've got let's have a look i need a piece of paper a piece of card i mean so let's just take this end piece off so i will use i've got any left over have a look this is what we want isn't it a piece of this so i'm going to stick a little piece of this onto some card because i'm going to make this little closure now so i'm going to just stick this on like that a piece of card level now let's see how big it is it's got to be this wide it's got to be about that wide so it will let's see if I can get it that because it's quite thin that bottom piece oops so small I got it stuck in there let's see if that will fit in there so that goes on and when it goes down because it has to go in between this piece here so I don't really need it that long oops just cut a little bit off I'm just going to go round the edges a little bit so it looks a little bit tidier like that and at the bottom oh my scissors are all sticky a little bit there these ones I actually did with a little corner punch but this is a little bit too small so I'm going to pop that on there let's ink around the edges just so we don't see those little white edges just finishes it off nicely Okay, let's get our little pokey tool. I know it's not called a pokey tool, but that's what I call it. So we want to pop it on there, so we need to sort of find the middle. So it's roughly there. So poke it on the top so that it goes through so you're marked underneath. I can see it. There we go. So we need to make the little hole in there and the little hole in here. Just to pop the bread through. Do we get some we can get some lovely fancy breads and I've never really bought any. I got one with a um dragonfly. I do I need to make the hole just a little bit bigger. There we go. Pop that through there. On there and then what we want to do is just open it up Oops, am I out of shot sorry and that does that and then that just comes up so now that's there we go perfect might be just a little bit too long but there we go so that's your closure which is easy peasy and then what we need to do is just decorate it a little bit so all as I did on these, I made those ruffles in a video a while back, like that. So I've just added it to those. So let's have a look. Let me take some of them. Got some in here. Let's have a look what we've got. Here we go. So that will look nice. Look, just on the corner. Let's see what I did with my little bit of cheesecloth, which I use for everything. Just wrinkle this up like that. Put those over there. A little bit of glue, which is the three in one. Pop a little bit on here. Oops, this is going a bit goopy. I need to open my new bottle really. 
So this has got like little strings that hang off it. Oops. There we are. Perfect. There we go. So they're a nice little addition to add to any little journal that you're making. Um, so if you have any leftover um, scraps of digital paper um, that will match in with the journal, these are a really nice little bit thing to make. So I thought they were really cute. There we go guys, have a go. Use some of your um, recycling. Have a little rummage through your recycling um, and your digital papers and any if you've got any cut-offs that you've been cutting down your um, journal papers with. So that's a nice, quick, easy project. Nice little notebook. There we are guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Please do give it a go. And if you do, and if you're in my group on Happiness and Crafting group, I'd love to see them. Um, you've been posting some amazing stuff on there um, and I'm absolutely really over the moon. So thank you so much. Um, have a lovely afternoon and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.